Um, all right, next game, uh, Lions at the Packers. Uh, Packers open up minus six, still minus six. Kind of surprised there was no line movement here. Um, so uh, who do you like here? Well, first of all, before anything, I wrote in my notes, just in all caps, vindication with a <laughs> bunch of exclamation. Because I've spent this whole offseason, every time on this show, we've talked about the NFC North. I've been like, the Packers are going to be good. Aaron Rodgers is going to come out angry. He's going to challenge for an MVP. And, you know, he's going to be mad that they didn't invest in him and invested in the future. And that's what it looked like in week one against the Vikings. Um, and granted, he was going up against a bunch of really young corners. They don't have anyone with more than three years of experience on that team and multiple rookies. So um, he was always going to have a decent matchup there. But I think with the uh, lack of a preseason, it was even better. Uh, but he should continue that in week two. I mean, the the Lions just let Mitch Trubisky throw for almost 250 yards and three touchdowns. Like, are you kidding? Like Mitch Trubisky, really? Like they blew such a big lead. And part of it was because a lot of their guys left with injuries in the secondary. Uh, Justin Coleman, I think, is out for a while. He's been put on IR. He's a great slot man. I think Desmond Trufant and Jeff Akuda are hurt too. So if they don't play, like who do they even have in the secondary? I like I think Amani Arunyawe uh, is the number one guy that comes to my mind there. But um, I, I just don't see them being very competitive against Rodgers. Um, I, I know the Lions have a solid offense and they may be able to move the ball on the Packers defense. But again, like we just talked about, the Packers only surrendered 10 points before the fourth quarter to Minnesota. They just kept them at that uh, arm's length, the double-digit lead, making sure that they were in good shape to uh, win that one all out. Um, so I, I think that was their main goal at that point. But Mike Patton said, hey, we've got this in the bag. Just like let's run some clock. Our offense will take care of things. And they did. Um, so I'm all in on the Packers and Rodgers. I think they're going to continue to play well, especially if Lazard and Valdez Scantling continue to play well. Um, so I'm going Packers minus six for probably three to four units. Um, I will want to see the Detroit injury report before um, really locking that in. I just want to know who's playing in their secondary. Yeah, it's, it's funny you mentioned the vindication because I actually gave you credit on the site. I don't know if you saw this, but I said I have to credit Jacob Kamaker for his thesis on Aaron Rodgers this year. He predicted that Rodgers would be more motivated than ever based on what the front office did in the 2020 NFL draft. Uh, yeah, he looked like he was out for blood uh, against the Vikings. Like He just absolutely tortured it torched them, tortured them too. Uh, so uh, it was, it was just a, it was brutal for the Vikings, and the Lions are going to be even worse against the pass if they're missing. You know, they're already missing Justin Coleman, Okuda. Who knows if he's going to play? And then Desmond Trufant uh, got knocked out too. That's kind of like why Trubisky caught fire at the end. The the Bears are down twenty three six, and I don't think they're going to come back unless the, the the Lions are missing their top three corners, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, so if Assuming that the Lions are down at least two of those corners, I think I think Rogers is going to have a great game again. You know, uh, like Valdez Scantling, he dropped a couple of passes, but he looked better. Alan Lazard looked better, and then Devontae Adams is just playing at the top of his game right now. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm right there with you. This is one of my top plays of the week. I, I think the Packers just destroy them. Uh, I think this line is way too low. Uh, we had a question about if this if this looked like a trap uh, because the spread seems too low, um, but. You know, there's there's a ton of action on the Packers, but there's there's more action on some other sides like the 49ers and the Ravens and the and the Chiefs. So, um, you know, if Vegas loses this one. It won't be as bad as if they lose uh, one of those other teams. Yeah. And uh, first of all, I appreciate the credit on the site. Um, I had not seen that, but uh, I'm glad you enjoyed my thesis. Um, it worked out well. Uh, but yeah, if if. You know, if Vegas isn't going to lose a ton on this line, it's not going to move. But I, I like this better than a good chunk of the lines out there this week. It might be my favorite play. If not, it's probably top two or three. Um, I, I just think it's a no-brainer. Just uh, bet the bet the Packers while Aaron Rodgers is hot. That could be the whole year. But um, especially at this point, like, he started off well and gets another good matchup. Um, I, I could easily see them hanging a ton of points on the uh, – the Lions again. If they have the running game and the passing game going, this offense is going to be really hard to stop. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, hopefully it, it remains that way. You know, I, I like to see Rodgers succeed. Um, you know, I, I always I always thought it was a shame that he never won more Super Bowls in Green Bay because McCarthy was just so inept. But you know, they, they could definitely win this year. So uh, based based on the way he's playing, 